Sorry to Bother You, directed by Boots Riley, starring Lucky Stanfield, Lutetta Thompson, Army Hammer, Stephen Yoon, and Danny Glover. It's one of the more original and unique films out there in terms of the craziness it employs in exploring its themes and ideas, which um, at the core are a deep satire of corporations, capitalist greed, and ways in which society sort of surrenders itself to those things. The story opens with the main protagonist, Cassius, um, passing a job interview at a telemarketing company. His beginnings are quite difficult, as he's unable to basically get through a single phone call. But then an older colleague, played by Danny Glover, gives him a secret tip. tip. He tells Cassius to, uh, to use his white voice uh, while on the phone, to sound like a confident, relaxed white dude, um, inst instead of you know his real voice as a black person. Cassius tries doing that, and the results are overwhelmingly fantastic. He begins his fast climb through the ranks of the company. But as he does, his co-workers, including his girlfriend Detroit, start an effort to set up a union and fight for better wages and better work conditions, which means Cassius suddenly finds himself conflicted between um, chasing better position, better pay, better life for himself, or sticking to his principles and staying with friends. And then around halfway through, something entirely else happens, which blows the whole thing wide open. And I'm not going to spoil what it is, obviously, but believe me, it's it is impossible to predict. It's one of my favorite movie plot twists, actually, purely for how balls to the wall crazy it is. And yet, seeing the film for the second time now, I uh, it actually not only makes perfect sense within the context of the story, but it is actually suddenly foreshadowed uh, way before it happens. Plot twists aside, though, I think the movie is overall quite fantastic because... Um, because of its dark humor, uh, because of its accurate observations of some of the mechanisms of corporate bullshit, and also fantastic characters uh, who are in large parts insane one way or another. Probably my favorite element of the film is Army Hammer as this decadent, ultra-rich CEO who is completely bonkers and yet at the same time so disconnected from the real world that he, it doesn't even occur to him that what he's doing is, is wrong or even just weird. On a technical level, the movie is quite impressive when you consider that this was Riley's directorial debut, um, so not too much experience beforehand. But the cinematography, the incorporation of music, and uh, very conscious, conscious use of color uh, make it stand out in the visual way almost as much as the story layer. And I say almost because let me repeat one more time. In terms of the originality and uniqueness of the script, Sorry to Bother You is just really high up here and most definitely worth checking out.